Today we're happy to share a demonstration of our supernova light source operating across eight laser ports with eight wavelengths per port up to 100 degrees Celsius. The demonstration of supernova operating over an ultra-wide temperature range is an important milestone because it shows that our light source can be used in environments with and without temperature control. This gives our end customers flexibility in how and where they deploy our laser solution for their end applications. Supernova is our remote optical source that powers our Terrify optical I.O. chiplet. When combined, the solution can transmit data error-free, providing up to 1,000x the bandwidth at one-tenth of the power compared to electrical I.O. alternatives. Our Supernova optical source has been built from the ground up with high volume manufacturing in mind and is supported by the CWWDM multi-source specification. The CWWDM MSA is a new standard that defines wavelength grids and power levels for emerging applications such as optical computing, AI, and co-packaged optics. Wireless telecommunications is a good example of an application that benefits from a laser source that can run over an ultra-wide temperature range. Telco providers are looking for ways to increase bandwidth while meeting aggressive temperature requirements. The uncooled supernova in combination with the Terrify optical I.O. chiplet provides a unique solution for this application where the supernova can be placed either within the cell tower or at a remote base station. In our demonstration today, we showed the temperature controller ramping from 15 to 100 degrees Celsius. You can see the laser spectra plotted at low temperature across all laser ports and all laser wavelengths. Then we show the laser operating from 15 to 100 degrees C continuously. Once the laser operating temperature reaches 100 degrees C, again we show all the wavelengths operating across all laser ports at elevated temperature. This supernova demonstration is yet another key milestone on the way to delivering in-package optical I.O. solutions at scale. We're moving past the product qualification phase and into high volume manufacturing readiness and next steps are already underway.